your horse isn't entirely clean, there's more to do.
No! Come back to find out about the party. Okay, I'll tell you. The club nights I organized were open to everyone, and sometimes troublemakers slipped in among the real party people. That night, a gang of hard men turned up with their twitchy frontman, Mikhail. They had it in for MC Man and came to pick a fight. Mikhail reckoned MC had winked at his girlfriend 
signing autographs on the way in. He stormed out, shouting his head off, then came back with his gang. He started heckling and taunting MC. Everybody stopped dancing and everything went quiet. You could feel the tension mount. And then? I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I wasn't having any of it. I went and stood up to Macau, looking him straight in the eye and said, This is a party. You have stopped the music. You could have been proud, MC Melon winked to your girlfriend, but instead, you want to ruin everything for everybody. So go on, fight the band, but first you'd have to deal with everybody here. And believe you me, there are several hundred people in this room least impressed by your song and dance, so it might take you some time. Alternatively, you could take a seat, have something to drink, chill out to the music, and if you're good, we'll forget all about this little incident. What do you say? And what did he do? He shut up for a moment, then sat down, and the party picked up where it left off. You could have been a diplomat. At the end of the night, MC Mellon came over and thanked me. He invited me to stay at his country house. Those days were the most memorable days of my short existence. Tell me about them. Let's save something for later, okay? Are you ready to tell me the rest of your story? Yeah, though it doesn't make me proud. What do you mean? Like I already said, horse riding was a vocation that came late in life. It doesn't mean I wasn't crazy about horses when I was small. I've often heard say that horses are man's greatest conquest. And it's true when you're a kid. Horses are really impressive. So big and so strong. My father often had horses to take care of, and, and I loved going with him out to the farms to watch them running in the meadows or, or resting in the stables. I didn't think about riding horses. Just the fact of watching them or feeling them was enough to fill my heart with joy. That's all that counted. It was a magical time in my life. My mum, dad, and, and me, we were very happy. It was around the age of 14 that everything went haywire. What happened? The businessman who stripped my dad of half his wealth, opened a factory in Vancouver. The factory started pumping chemical pollutants into the river, killing the fish. My father had no idea who the factory belonged to, but was very active in the campaign to shut it down. He organized demonstrations and petitions. The media picked up on the campaign, and soon everyone was talking about it. What had to be, had to be. The Barcelona businessman discovered my dad was trying to close the factory, and decided to make him pay 100-fold. What did the man do to your father? I prefer not to talk about it for now. It's pretty painful, remembering all that stuff. I hope you understand. Of course. I don't want to force you. But if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm ready to listen. That's sweet of you. Thanks. <laughs> 